Hey, good morning. It is Sunday, September 6th, and I'm excited today because we're going to get to see the new sound system. But first, kind of a sunrise. Huh? I said this in another video, but I love coming out here because I get to see the sun, just be in nature a little bit. Um, there's no one around so I can sing and open up my voice and just really focus in my heart and pray for the day and just to enjoy God this morning without any distractions and it's just good for my soul to be in nature and it makes me wonder what do other worship leaders do? What do you guys do on Sunday mornings or maybe Saturday night if you have a Saturday night service? What do you do to get your hearts ready, to get your voice ready, everything you have to do to prepare to actually lead worship? What do you guys do? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear. All right, the sun's almost up now. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. All right, it is Wednesday the 2nd of September, and I'm gonna go up and see what they've done so far as far as the audio upgrades. I think they've got a screen up and one of the line arrays, and then they're working for a few hours this morning to get some more up, so we're gonna go see what they've done. Let's go. <laughs> Gotta keep wearing your mask. Let's go. Oh, what's up? Woo! That was beauty. Ah. All right, both the rays, left and right are up. Left and right, they look beautiful. Look at that. Wow, the screen's huge. Very nice. It's gonna be a bunch more beeping in the footage, just like the other day. What are y'all doing right now? So we are about to t attach the magnets. It's held on by magnets? The bottom. Oh, okay. No, I get no, it. No. It just keeps it close to the wall. Keeps it. Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. No. You got. You got to make a stud finder joke. Beep, beep. Oh, found one. Look at that. They put the. No board. need for a finder when it's evident. Oh, that's, there it is. We've got so many gear shops though. All right, I'm up here on the lift looking at these things. Hey, Dan, since I didn't get any footage of you putting these up, did you assemble all of them and then and then lift them up or do you assemble them in the air? One box at a time in the air. One box at a time in the air. It's recording now. You can just make me look like I'm doing something awesome, worthy of video. I just finished installing these line arrays and these screens. Now I'm gonna go to lunch. Uh, it was easy. I don't know what Dan Janet thought. <laughs> I mean, I just... Hey, let me get your opinion about something. Painting. Ever since I got here, I've wanted to take the top of the trim board and up and make it black so you don't see through all the okay. lighting rods, which is one thing. Mm -hmm. But what about painting it all? Painting it all black and then having like a blank slate to do more lighting. Would that black overwhelm this room? I think you're right about painting it from the top trim board up. What would your people think if you just blacked out the entire stage? That's what I don't know. I've already got it approved. Pastor Dwayne said, paint it black. Paint it black. I just want it lit up. But I also know lighting costs a lot. We have some lighting. We have, we have, so that's going to buy half a light. <laughs> So that's what makes me nervous about it. We're not gonna be able Spin to light this. all on your PA. Yeah, I know. I don't think we're gonna be able to light it up enough to paint the whole thing black. Let's talk about what you're doing. I had to run two new circuits for those nice, pretty speakers hanging up there. Okay. And in order to do that, I had to upsize that little sub panel. The, not the whole panel, just a little sub panel to the left. Okay, yeah. wow. So that's what I'm working on now. Nice, man. Just looking to see how the arrays look with yeah. the house lighting on if they disappear. So I think you, you might be right about Painting the trim board up. Painting the trim board up. Alright, we'll be back tonight. Go ahead and turn them on. I want to hear them now. Now! Now! Alright, good morning. It is 
Thursday, September 3rd. And today I'm heading back up to the church to see how the worship center is being transformed. Today they're not working, but Daniel, our production director, is gonna be using the lift to change some of the lights on stage. And tomorrow is like the final sound check. So I'm very excited to see how that sounds, how it's gonna work out. But first, my SD cards are just flimsy. They're tearing apart. One of them broke. I can't even use it anymore. And the other one is starting to come apart. So I don't know if I just bought cheap uh, SD cards or if that's how they all are because I don't treat them rough. They just stay in the case or in my camera. Um, but I also need an SD card reader for my Mac. The little dongle won't read the cards anymore. So I don't know if it's the card's fault or the dongle, but my camera will read the SD card. So I don't know. Anyways, got my mask on, got my hand sanitizer. I also have these. This is pretty cool. Anyways, let's go. All right, so I'm a little disappointed because I wanted those things today, this SD card. I was gonna get the 64 gig and Best Buy's was 38 bucks for the same exact card. And this one is on Amazon. It's 19.99, 19.89. Like almost half the price for the same card. Now I got this same card last year, which it's a year old, but my SD cards are falling apart and I'm wondering if I just am handling them too roughly don't think I am or if they just don't last that long because they're just little small plastic pieces so I'd hate to pay more money for the same exact flimsy thing so I'm gonna go ahead and get two for the price of one all right time to get some work done I'm here up in the green room at the church and gonna get some footage later today but this is my office space for today let's get some stuff done <laughs> some blizzard lighting skybox EXAs. As you can hear, there's like a fan and it uses PowerCon. This will be brighter, have more color uh, blending options. Nice. Skybox EXA, EXA, I don't know. So answer me this. Yeah. How's their power to it right now? Are they battery? They are battery powered too. We don't need that. Right. But that is, they say that you have 20 hours of battery life on these, which is pretty insane for... The show must go on. Yeah, exactly. The biggest hurdle is getting these fixtures down because they're stupid heavy. All right, I did some work, looked at some Sunday keys, planned some set lists for some upcoming services, did a lot of things, and now I got some errands to run before I meet the painter guy up here, if he can meet me, he's supposed to meet me here this afternoon, so we'll see. See if we can get this thing painted. I've been honestly struggling with whether to paint the whole thing or not. I feel like if I paint the whole thing black, like was the original plan, which what we got approved to do, uh, that it might just become a big black hole and we might not have enough lights to light it all up. So I'm at least wanting to paint the top strip I think I've said that in some other videos you may not at all know what I'm talking about but we'll see what he says if he gets us a price that's way too high we won't be doing any of it anyway so yeah we'll see what he says can you give me can you give me a kiss bye bye go watch frozen all right, it's 5.45 on Thursday, September 3rd. Screens are up, speakers are installed, there's painting being done, a little bit of painting where the trim boards were removed. I also just met with another painting contractor to talk about uh, several different options for painting the stage black. Just looking forward to tomorrow. We're gonna have a full day on Friday. Uh, we got men's prayer in the morning and the installers are coming back to EQ the sound system and make sure everything's working before they leave and they're done with their project. You know, the disappointing thing is we're getting all this new stuff and I'm not even the one leading worship inside, so I'm not even gonna get to experience it when it's new. I lead worship out here in this field right here. And it's always hot. It's always hot. Eh. what can you do? Hey, good morning. It's 6.35 on Friday morning and I'm heading to men's prayer meeting and then got a full day. We're tuning the sound system, finalizing everything, and I'm excited. All right, so men's prayer just finished up and I came in here in the 
worship center set up my workspace. The first sign of something coming on. Here it is. I think you installed it upside down. I really did. Let's start over. <laughs> yeah, you missed. You're coloring outside the lines. What's, what is this? That's not gonna work. All right, just had to go get some breakfast. Oh. I don't eat Bojangles all the time. If you saw the last video, I had Bojangles in that video, but this is actually water. I've been eating healthy this week. I got some a side of egg and some meat, and I'm drinking water because I need something in me. So don't think, don't think I go to Bojangles too much. That would be, I mean, you can't have too much. But this is water. All right, so the array is hung. And now I'm gonna go up, solder some connectors, so we can turn the PA on. Soldering some connectors. Yeah, sorry about such a big soldering station. This is usually in the shop, but we thought, hey, why not bring the largest soldering right. kit out possible? There we go. Operating a boom lift and a camera. Dan, what got you into the AV world? So it actually started with my dad. He was a bivocational worship pastor. So I would run rehearsals and practices for him doing audio. So that's actually how I got started. But from there, we attended a pretty large church in the Florida area and was mentored by guys who were doing production arts. So anyway, that's how it started for me. So now we're gonna tend the end of the wire with that. This is going to be our primary. Okay. But then we're also going to do a backup line. Let's say that you have a crazy rat in the church and you threw a cable, which will never happen. It's always great to have a backup line. Backup plans are good. This line is feeding, it's not feeding power, right? Because these are powered speakers. So tell me how that, you, that is exactly on right. forever? So the speakers are not on forever. So actually on the other side of this, we have a power sequencer that'll be controlled from the booth to turn the speakers on and off. But they are powered boxes. This is a line level signal that will go from, it's actually coming directly from the audio processor in the booth right to the PA. I, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to handle all the power <laughs> and clarity. Travis, can you see the back side of this right array? I'm gonna see if uh, this array turns on. Can you tell if there's lights on the array? I can see an orange light on it. Okay, stand by. If you'll take a look at it. You can at least see two blue lights. Great. It's working. It's working. All right, Travis, I'm gonna turn it off. And it works. All right, so we're gonna be looking at our sound system today, but I thought we'd go ahead and just see the process of what we do each Sunday morning for our two services. Well, at least the parts that I'm involved in. First thing we do is set up the stage for the outdoor service. What's up? Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Daniel, our production director, has a team that comes out and sets all this up. And what I do is I get out my guitar and I play in the parking lot to warm up and to get my guitar acclimated to the high humidity because it always sweats and gets out of tune and then the sun comes out and it's just a big problem. Anyways, that's what we do. Normally my guitar sweats a good bit, but this time I left it in my car overnight, so. Should be good. What's up, Drew? My soul cries out hallelujah. Does it? There's Ashley. Dude, we got the new sound system. Watch your video, it's amazing. Yeah, he watched my video. Like, like and subscribe. That's right, like and subscribe. Well, let's try that bridge again. Okay. What? We're ready for you. All right, they're ready for us. Sound check, official, starts at 7.30. Okay. I think they're a little behind this morning. That's okay though. We usually have plenty of time. Don't trip over that one. Yeah. Just sing whatever you want. Uh, I don't know. Uh, worthy is first and then I think it's Savior is worthy, Jesus is awesome, I think. Worthy. I mean, yes. It's Jimmy, you all set up? 
As we lift up our hands, will you meet us here? You check your acoustic now. Gimme kick. Just your snare. Okay, now give me a full kit. How you feeling, Drew? I'm feeling pretty good. How about you? I mean, it feels good out here. It does. You got your I mean, it was. Donuts. It was really cold this morning, though. Jacket. No, no, no. Y'all good? We're good. Cool. All right, we just finished up sound check. I'm pretty good. We're a little behind schedule today, but we have so much time built in that it's no problem. Now this is the important part right here. All my picks and this thing. If you haven't seen my other video where I talk about my gear, go check it out right there, wherever it is. Um, but I talk about these picks too, star picks. Put my thumb fat through there so I rarely drop them anymore. But just in case I drop them, especially if it's cold or just being outside changes things, I have this little thing. Links are in the description if you wanna go check it out. All right, so we just finished our 8.30 meeting and what we do there is we just go over everything that's gonna happen in the service. We look over planning center and make sure everybody knows their cues, knows where to go. And then we wait and get ready for the service which starts here in about 19 minutes. Here we go. All right, first service is over, outdoor service. You can see everybody packing up. We're going inside to hear the um, other band rehearse or do their run through for the second service. So let's go. Gotta wear a mask though. Gotta stay safe. Here we go. Run through! Run through! <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get to the rotating slides, house music, when we need to serve the stage next year. Alright, let's get house music playing. And then about 30 seconds before we'll play a video on the live stream. I'll count you guys in from 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome, open door. cool shot except I'm not in it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe do all the things hit the bell also you can follow me on Instagram where I can chat with you guys over there at hey worship leader and I will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>